Hello friends and welcome to another video. I am National Master Rafael Leite and I'll be playing here 5 minute uh, games on chess.com. Let's go for that. So our opponents now are really strong. So we need to be really, really careful. Okay, he's simply developing, so am I. So he, he gave me a pawn, but he got the pawn back. He's playing very well this opening. It seems he knows what he's doing. It seems he really knows what he's doing. Good opening. Okay, let's not allow those knight jumps. Alright, so let's keep the development. Okay, and... Uh, I'll simply castle. Simple chess. You attacked my pawn and you attacked my pieces here. Okay, I can spend a tempo playing this. No, no, not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Let's just keep bringing the pieces. The opponent uh, seems to be playing very, very well. Okay, he got uh, some room for his pieces. I don't know about this move. Knight e4, no. Start piling up. It, this move seems to be releasing so much uh, possibilities for me. Like this pawn can push, this bishop can come. And I know you are attacking here and it looks like a good thing, but... I think there are many ways to play against this. A very simple one is simply g3. Or even h3. But g3 also fights for f4 square. But the f4 square I'm kind of controlling at this point, so... Also c4 immediately is possible, and very interesting. I'll play this, allowing bishop checks. This is a complicated line, but allows me strong attack now. And if he captures this, he's kind of tied up. I can play g3 at any moment and, and trap the bishop. So, um, many ideas here. Good move. What if I do? He will play f5 now. f5, queen h4. Let's do it. And then he has a weakness on the... Oh, he played g6. Nice. Oh, then he's gonna play knight f6. But I think I got queen e5. Yeah, I think it, I think it was a good sequence. Because he lost the queen now, but he should have captured my queen and then I would be winning a little bit of material, but now he's lost. Let's go for the next one. This one was nice, very nice. Let's go for the next one. That one was hard. This, this guy is 2,000 player. It's going to be tough, tell you that. Let's go for the Rui Lopez opening, Spanish opening. Okay, immediately with d4. Castling. Not interested in the pawn at this point. He defended like that. Okay, give me back the pawn. He kept with the development. So did I. He he wants he wants a little trick here. I know what he's doing, but okay. Let's uh, keep developing. I think h3 is also possible at some point, or even f3. Um, yeah, let's play this h3 idea, which I think is important to play. Okay, let's do it like so. Have a few exchanges. <clears throat> and 
And he went with that. Is he going to long castle? I don't believe it. Because I'm pressuring there. It's not possible. Okay. Now I see. Oh, now I see what you're doing. You're putting pressure there. Okay. But uh, I think I can play this now. It's going to get pretty interesting. Because now the queen is going to be attacked and also the bishop. I'm not getting mated because I played h3 at some point. So queen d7 has to be played. Nice idea. Okay, if I play like this, then he's going to have a good attack here. So Another idea is simply bringing the rook or doing both. I think I got a slightly better pawn structure, but I, I don't know if I played this before. Guys, I have to go out, sorry. Sorry about that. So sorry about that. Okay, let's play something. I don't know what. Let's just play quickly. And uh, yeah, probably I played very bad here, but okay. Yeah, probably I played truly bad here. Oh, I lost the game. Sorry about that, guys. I lost this game. Let's go for the next one. I simply lost the game. Let's go. Let's just go for the next one. Sorry about that. I had to go for a while. I was called and then um, to help my family here. But then when I go back, I just completely lost and I make poor moves. And sorry about that. Okay, I'll play a little bit more, but yeah, probably, probably very bad for me now. Of rook e5. Okay, I get one pawn. Okay. Let's try. Yeah, what to do. Okay, he's got a pawn majority here on the king's side, that's the problem, so I'll try to get his attention. Yeah, that's over. So sorry guys, let's go for the next one, I'm sorry about that, um, but now probably I won't be called again. So okay, let's go, Rana Mazud. Let's go with focus here. Chess is focus. You lose focus, you go do another thing, then you go back, and then you just uh, miss completely what was going on, and especially in Blitz games. So, okay, he's not playing. Let's go for the next one. And then I think we, we had a strong advantage in the last game, but 
I could screw it all up in a few moves. Let's uh, focus on this one. Okay, this is the Sicilian defense. Probably the Nidor for the dragon. The dragon. This is called the dragon variation of the Sicilian. So okay, we're just protecting our pieces and developing and preparing to cast alongside and start storming on the king side. Okay, so he wants to go for some exchanges. D5. Let's go with this. Bishop B7, probably. Or even e6 should be okay. Bishop b7. So you have an isolated, not isolated pawn. You have all the, you have also the other one. So now you can take the pawn. So should I push or take? I should take. Right, and how to continue here? Knight a4. Let's go wild. Let's go wild here. Okay. Bishop takes. I think we have a balanced position. We need to be careful with this move in the future. So if bishop takes, pawn takes and pawn takes, I should not capture the pawn. Okay, but now that you played it, I think you lost to the game. No, you're going to capture with the bishop. Okay, I got it. So maybe the best is capture the bishop, which is a strong offender, and then the pawn. And we should be fine, I guess. Okay, this should be pretty balanced. Very aggressive situation we passed through here. And then I'm not sure how to follow up. But I guess I need to overprotect this and get the rook out of this so I can maybe play e4, f4. And also I want to play bishop here to protect my king. So that's why I played this move. And the other rook I might be able to move other ways. So now I'm threatening to exchange the bishop as well, which I really want to do because my king is not really, really the safest king in the world. So I think that uh, I should defend it once again so I can exchange and not get mated. Or I can even keep everything as it is and start a pawn storm on the king's side. Which I think is good because in the end game I might have problems with the pawn majority on, 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 on the king's side. Okay, so at least we stop a little bit his activity here. And I'm really not sure how to continue. But maybe this for sure. Yeah, maybe this and then maybe I should start uh, targeting the king's side and not exchanging the bishop. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Could have captured there, but too risky. I think f4 should be the way to go. Exchange and then f4 or, or even f4 immediately. Oh, he, he's attacking the rook and also the pawn. It's annoying. 
That is annoying. So maybe I have to play this or even this because he takes here, I go here, he has to go all the way back and then he loses the, the piece. But if he takes there, I can take here. And maybe I have some counter. Yeah, this is so dangerous at this point. I don't know what's going to happen. Two minutes. Big chess fan. He plays very well. Okay, with the pawn. Okay, so queen c4, queen f3, queen f queen f2. So we protect here and we are attacking there. Also we did attack there. And also defended the mate. Tough position, tough game. So you sacrifice the rook because this rook is hanging, but how about this move? Is the game over at this point? I think it is. I think I got I win this rook here. Because after this I take, he takes and I go check and I take this rook. And I couldn't do it immediately because this one was hanging. In the future. Had I played this and this, that one would be hanging. So I guess it's over for our friend. Wow, it, it looked like I was in trouble, but then I think the rook d3 idea followed by rook a3 paid out. And now I think my opponent, um, I don't see a solution for this. I don't see a good solution. Maybe he's got to take and play this. I don't know. But it's not easy anymore. Probably he's in trouble already. Yeah, he knows that. He knows it's tough. Doesn't seem to have anything good at this point. Okay, our opponent is just, uh, yeah, okay, he tried something here. I don't know what else he's going to do, but he's a rook down. He's a, a queen for a rook. So what is the best way to play this position? I think it is like this, piling up here. Let's not get mated, we don't want to. Let's put pressure like here. Yeah. All right, so he resigned the game. Let's go for the next one. It, it, he was a good fighter, you know, he took like a long time to, do, to play and then he was trying to play. That was interesting. Okay, and uh, queen spawn opening. The queen's gambit accepted. Oh, he went for this very aggressive line. Pump push now, I think. What? No, this is good. This is good as well. Okay. All right. All right. So if I play here, it goes e3, bishop e3. There are some ideas here. C5 immediately, I don't know. For B5, I cannot play anymore. 
Knight c6 seems too slow. Knight here to go here, he can defend. Knight here to go here, interesting. He's gonna go wild, but I think I'd rather develop my pieces. Bishop here is also interesting. You know what? Don't, don't mind about this pawn, just develop. Just develop. And the order matters here, because if he plays e4... Alright, so this seems like a good one. I guess I can play this. Uh, why didn't I play c5 followed by bishop e6? I should have played that. I'm going to play that. I'm going to grab my, my pawn. And let's do it. I'm a pawn grabber. Just give me my pawn. And now this knight is going to very nice places. Yeah, it was nice. Takes, 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 takes. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I'll just keep developing. If you want, you can triple my pawns. If you rather, you can take the pawn. You prefer the pawn? It's up to you. It's up to you. Now we have a good attack there. He can castle here, right? Oh, nice. Okay, let's castle as well. I need to protect this bishop, maybe with this rook, not with the other, because of the knight jumping here, and it's not uh, really pleasant. Yeah, that's another reason for me to move this rook. Maybe here he's gonna put the knight here, so really annoying. I'll go that way that I talked about earlier, because I cannot go here immediately, because of the knight is going to be attacked. Let's see what he's going to do. So my, I'm running out of time a little bit here. Hmm. Some very interesting ideas come to mind, so a little bit of calculation here. Let's go for this. Okay, it doesn't work to get here because he, the best move for him is gonna take with the pawn, right? So I take a piece. He took a piece, I take a piece. Then he take a piece, I take a piece. And then he take a piece. And then I'm worse. So let's face it. There's a weak pawn here. Okay, let's go. Let's let's defend a little bit. Let's defend a little bit. I think now this move, so he has to play e4, but then e4 gives me this square, so not easy to... Okay, so now I get this square. Which is truly a good one. Oh, now you're a little bit scared, right? So you want to exchange pieces for this reason. So okay, you don't have the light square defender anymore. Let's bring the pieces, join the party. Okay, you also have a good square for your knight, that is true. But we're gonna start a pawn storm on the queen's side. And you have a pawn majority on the king's side. Let's see what happens. This is gonna be a very interesting game. Whoa, interesting, you stopped me. I got to remove your knight from there. Are you gonna push the pawn? No. Okay, so uh, you attacked my 
knight here and this one so I can take here you're gonna take with the knight probably and let's go for this very interesting game we've got both both of us have uh, advanced the knights So I'm in control of this square a little bit now and just uh, bring in the king a little bit more. So okay, let's push this pawn, very wise for him. And I'm gonna try some attack on the, on the queen's side. You can exchange a rook if you want. Nice seven. So the rook cannot lift. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Fighting for the column, but you cannot fight for the column at this point. Okay, very interesting choice. And now what? Here? I don't know anymore. Knight check, or maybe pawn push. Pawn push. I'm, I'm hanging the, the the rook. So I think I have to do it before the pawn push. Rook here, please. Thirty seconds. Ah. He wants to exchange. Oh, very nice. I think I can draw this now. Could be able if I had time. Okay, maybe I do have now. Okay, that was insane. That was insane. Okay, I think that's it for today. I think we have uh, we had a few good games here. A little bit of emotion. Uh, we had that uh, little aspect of uh, you lose focus, you go out, you go do something else and then you go back and how bad it is. So chess is a game of focus and also some entertaining games. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for the audience and see you next time.